One of the most powerful features available to Estimate users is the QuickBooks link. This optional component allows you to export transactions from Estimate and import them into QuickBooks in full detail so that you don't have to do any double entry. This is really a very easy process. I'm presenting this to you in two videos. The first video will show you how the export is done and what it looks like when it arrives in QuickBooks. And the second video will show you how to configure the QuickBooks export to get the maximum benefit from it. To begin, we click on Management, QuickBooks link, and Export Transactions to QuickBooks. This brings up the Export Transactions screen. This is a wizard, and you click on the link at the bottom to proceed through the screens. This window shows you the transactions available for export. Note that currently we see jobs in this window. I'm going to switch to a view of estimates. What we're going to do is randomly choose a few estimates to send over to QuickBooks as invoices. We click here to continue once we have selected the estimates we want to send. Also note that you can send multiple estimates at once or just an individual estimate. So you can do this on an immediate, daily, or weekly basis. What we are actually doing here is we are sending these transactions to an export file that QuickBooks knows how to import. So what we will do is we will click the select link and right here in my documents we will save a QB export file and click Save. Choose whether we want it to be an invoice or a cash sale on arrival and in this case we want all three transactions to be invoices. Click here to proceed. Click here to export them and now we're done. And the next step is to go over to QuickBooks and import those transactions. Now I'm going to bring up QuickBooks and show you how to import the transactions that we just sent over. Here is QuickBooks. All we have to do is click File, Utilities, and Import IIF Files. Go into our My Documents folder and select the Export File and click Open. and now QuickBooks says your data has been imported. The reason I keep moving screens onto the screen is because I am filming this video in a very small mode so that it fits on the CD. Now we're going to click on Create Invoices and I'll put this shortcut bar away so you can see more of it. And now we'll back up through the invoices and you'll see that these have been imported in full detail from Estimate. And that way you don't lose any of your work and it all comes in without you having to do any double entry. And that's how you do an export to QuickBooks from Estimate. Next we'll move on and I'll show you how that is configured. Configuring the export to QuickBooks is a relatively simple task, but it can appear to be a little bit daunting. You start by clicking Management, QuickBooks Link, and Configure QuickBooks Export. This agreement will appear, which you have to click I Agree On. Essentially, what it explains is that we cannot take responsibility for anything that happens to your QuickBooks file as a result of doing imports. Therefore, we recommend that the first few times you do this, you back up your QuickBooks file first and make sure everything is working properly. Once you've clicked I agree, here are some basic instructions to read and then you click next to get to the main configuration screen. You will notice that up top there are two sections that have asterisks next to them. 
These two sections are the only ones that you must fill in. The first one links the pricing plugins with the accounts and items in QuickBooks that you want those items to flow into. And the second hooks up job discounts and sales tax. I will start with the pricing plugins section. We'll do digital printing as an example. You have to specify in QuickBooks an account name and an item name that these need to flow into. I'll bring up QuickBooks and take a look at the item list so you can see more clearly what I'm talking about. Edge prints are a non-inventory part assigned to printing income. Note that in Estimate, what we have is digital printing going into the Edge Prints item and assigned to the printing income account. And that's how this setup must be done for each of the different plugins that you are using. If you use QuickBooks 2002 or better, you have the opportunity to click this button, which will connect to QuickBooks and will import all of your items and accounts so that you can choose them from drop-down lists rather than having to type them in by hand. Note that now the income accounts are listed here and the items are listed here. That makes this process much easier. Once you have connected each of these items with your QuickBooks income and item then you can do taxes and discounts. Job discounts need an account name and an item name. Sales tax needs an account name, an item name, and an agency name, all of which you can find in QuickBooks. I'll show you. We go into QuickBooks and choose Lists item list and it's the state sales tax item. When we edit that item you can see that it is state sales tax going to the Department of Revenue and it goes into the sales tax payable account. Over in Estimate you have to have all that information clearly spelled out here. The two global accounts QuickBooks uses are accounts receivable and undeposited funds. QuickBooks does not offer us a way to pull over the accounts receivable and undeposited funds account names. Those are the defaults that QuickBooks specifies. If you have changed these from accounts receivable to something else or from undeposited funds to something else then you will need to make this match what is in QuickBooks. And it is an important note that this must be case sensitive. If there's a capital U and a capital F, it must be that way here as well. If you don't recall making these changes, then chances are you didn't. If you have an accountant that set up your QuickBooks file for you, then we do recommend that you check this. And that's how you set up the QuickBooks export accounts for the basic getting started setup. The more advanced setup is where you can actually go in to these various lists and select an item, for example banners, and instead of putting them into the default QuickBooks item for vinyl signs, you can enter a different QuickBooks item just for banners and that way you can track the various accounts and the various types of work that you do in QuickBooks. It's a very powerful import facility if you take the time to set it up. But again, the only ones you must do are these two at the top. And that's how you configure the QuickBooks export.